Opus Clip uses AI to find your most viral moments, turn them into shorts, and then auto-publish them to your social media in seconds. I've used a lot of AI video tools out there, and honestly, most of them just kind of randomly chop up your content. Opus Clip is the first one that I've seen that actually understands what makes a clip go viral. In the next nine minutes, I'm gonna show you how to get set up, upload your footage, let AI pinpoint the best moments and schedule them to post automatically. And let's start by getting you set up. So click the link popping up right now on your screen or hit the top link in the description to unlock a free seven day trial of Pro. No credit card needed. Once you're here, hit sign up, it's free. Now just pop in your email, verify it and boom, you're in. You're now on the pro plan and that's important because starting with pro means you're going to get access to all of the features from day one so you can test things out fully with your 90 free credits. So now let's see how Opus Clip turns your long form videos into viral shorts. Start by pasting your video link right here. It's probably the fastest way to repurpose your existing content or you can click upload here to upload your video directly up to 30 gigabytes or 10 hours long. Now, if you don't have any long form videos of your own yet, then no worries. You can still create viral shorts using creative common videos on YouTube. Let me show you how. So head over to YouTube and you can search any topic, fitness, business, travel, whatever you want to create shorts about. Since I want something business related, I'll search for Alex Hormozzi. But you don't just want to download and chop these up because you're going to come up against all kinds of copyright and monetization issues. So instead, what you do is click filters and then under features, select creative commons. And now you're going to get a ton of long form interviews and podcasts and live streams that you can clip and reuse without any problems. And that's because according to YouTube, any video marked as creative commons is free to edit and repurpose. So now let's pick a video. And I think this one would work really well. Alex Hormozzi reveals the hard truths of building and losing a $150 million empire. And this is like an hour long interview. So it's going to be really interesting to see how many clips we can get out of it. Let's hit share, copy the video link, and then paste it back into Opus Clip. Now you could hit get clips right away, but let's first quickly fine tune your AI clip settings to make sure that you get the very best results possible. So first, make sure that the AI model is set to clip anything. That's the latest and the smartest model. Next, clip length. You can go as short as 30 seconds or all the way up to 15 minutes. So let's say you've got an hour long podcast and you want like 10 to 15 minute highlight reels. Just tick that one. And if you also want to create YouTube shorts, which we know can be up to three minutes now, select that too. And Opus Clip will find options for both. Now choose your content genre. It's set to let AI detect by default, but if you know what type of video it is, hit show more and you can pick up to three genres manually. So that way the AI kind of knows exactly what to look for. And since this is an interview, I'll go with interview. Now you see this little gear icon? Let's click that. So here you can toggle on or off these what are known as narrative templates. So for my video, I'm using emotional story, top moment, viral snippet and best scenes compilation. Now, of course, these options will change depending on what kind of shots you're creating, but I like to leave them all on. It just gives the AI the best chance to find clips that I might have missed otherwise. Next up, there's this prompt box that lets you give custom commands to find specific moments. So for example, you might say, show me the funniest or most motivational moments, or find the parts where they talk about money, or pull the clips where someone shares a major failure, something like that. For this Alex Amosi video, I'm gonna go with, give me the best aha moments. Finally, let's set the processing time frame. So this tells the AI exactly what part of your video to pull clips from. So if there's a long intro or maybe some extra fluff at the end that you don't really want to include, then you can just move the sliders here like this to cover the part that you only want clipped. Now, remember, you're going to be using one credit for every minute of video it processes. So this is a really smart way to save credits and also speed the processing time. Next, choose your caption style. So there's a bunch of styles here inspired by big creators like Mr. Beast and Ali Abdal. And since this video features Alex or Mosey, I'll go with Mosey because, well, that just makes sense. 
And now I'll quickly double check the aspect ratio in this drop down. So I'll go with 916. And now I highly recommend you save these settings as your default and it'll make the process even faster next time. All right, so everything's set. Now go ahead and hit get clips in one click. And the AI is now scanning your video and generating your clips. So for this hour long video, it actually took around 15 minutes. And yep, Opus Clip will send you an email once your clips are ready. So let's take a look. So I've now got 38 clips ready to go and each come with a virality score, a suggested title, and even a full transcript. You can scroll through and preview any clip and see exactly what the AI pulled from your video. I'll hit play on this one. $750 an hour agency owner's secret, how to learn skills fast. Sounds promising. That particular agency owner said, I don't sell my time, but I would do it for 750 an hour. And I was like, okay. And so I bought eight hours from him for six grand. And I showed up to every call with like notes and recordings and I need I needed to learn how to do this. We go document, demonstrate, duplicate. So I have to figure out the checklist of all the things they do. What are the behaviors? And then uh, you do it in front of me and then I do it in front of you. And then as long as I can duplicate, then I have the skill. That particular agency owner said, and yeah, I think that's brilliant. I think it's a great story. I think the solid takeaways. And honestly, this has every chance of going viral. And I didn't even have to lift a finger. Now, of course, if you want to go through and edit everything manually, then you can click on the edit clip button right here. You can also enhance the audio with AI or even add B-roll if you want. But honestly, I think these are all ready to post. So let's jump straight into publishing. You can either click the publish on social button right here, or better yet, connect to all your social channels first so that everything is synced up. So to do that, head to the left side menu, then click this link icon and now click add account. So you can connect YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and X. So I'm gonna click on YouTube and hit connect. Now on this pop-up, Let's make sure that you select the right account, tick the boxes to grant all the necessary permissions. Once all your socials are linked up, now you can just hover over any clip and hit the calendar icon here to post. Now, if you're on the free trial plan, you're gonna see this pop-up saying you'll need to upgrade to remove the watermark, but I'll click continue anyway for now. And as you can see, the AI has already gone ahead and written your title, a description, and even included hashtags, which is pretty cool. And of course, you can customize any of this if you want. But honestly, I think the AI does a solid job right out of the box. And you can hit publish now or select time if you want to schedule it to be posted at a later date. Or instead of going through and publishing one video at a time, you can hit this bulk schedule button up here and then you can go through and select all the videos that you want to schedule. Then hit bulk schedule again. And these are all the shorts that we want to post. Now they're automatically scheduled to go two hours after each other. But if you want to change that, hit this customized time button and then you can either choose the specific time and date or you can choose whether these are going to be posted out four hours, 12 hours, one day or even one week after each other. And once you've done that, hit save. And that really is it. So why don't you go ahead and schedule a whole month's worth of content in 10 minutes flat. And if you want to take it a step even further, then watch this video where I break down the top video AI generators that are out there right now that I've tried and tested myself so that you can create videos from scratch without ever stepping in front of a camera. So check that out next.